Today, the unthinkable happened. I met a survivor. He is 76 years old and flagellates himself weekly, which he credits to his survival. He is not happy with the world, which is perhaps the only thing I agree with him on. We talked briefly. We surprised each other a great deal. Me, that I had survived without flagellating, and him, that he'd survived by walking to the center of town, whipping himself once a week, and then walking home. I suspect he is staying alive through the undead's ignorance. The blood on his skin rots, makes him smell dead, which is how I theorize they track their foes. This is all guesswork, but I can think of no other logical reason than he should be alive. Something more odd and perhaps disconcerting is the flagellant agrees with my thesis on the nature of the world. The concept of a god who dislikes the humans or ignores them was something he often preached, and only by making yourself suffer can you prevent undue pain in your life, hence the whipping. I'm unconvinced his method works. Death by infection may not take him, but this new sick Rame is bloated with new ways to die. Either he will run out of heart attack, die of old age, bleed himself dry, or the dead will overwhelm him. He's already eaten all the fresh food in town, and the stale or imperishable food will only last a few more weeks based on how quick I eat it. He likely eats slower, but it'll only buy him another two weeks at most. I give him two months, though I will not come back to check. One thing was very interesting. When I asked him how he avoids pain or find solace, he avoided my questions for a moment. When I pressed him, he gave in and showed me a small black object, a brittle quill-like item he calls Black Spike. It looked like a curved sewing needle, but was even smaller and thinner. He then took some in front of me. He pressed it into his skin until the sharp end punctured his flesh, and a change came over him. Even still, he pressed it into his body, shuddering as he did. His eyes dilated and he stopped limping as though the shroud of injury had been pulled from his back. He was better, though he was still gouged and spilling blood, and his feet were still engorged. He spoke to me then, his voice deeper. He explained the chemical sacrament of the black spikes, or how one can seal them away from the twisted god's love. Grammatically speaking, it was ambiguous what he meant, a possessive S or a plural one, in terms of the god's love. Neither is comforting. He continued his explanation despite my confusion. To me, he then imparted a case of black spike rattling with spines and told me to use them to relieve pain in case I ever needed. I nodded and took them more to placate him than to save myself. And then I left. The dead are always chasing me, and I suspect they may find him thanks to my passing through, though he's been all right so far. I do not intend to stay to ensure that he continues on. The man is a fanatic, and only a danger to himself, but only because he is alone. I left him, and I leave you as Asher.